Is it that strange? The Catwoman looked back at Abby. Looking at the miners, Abby shrugged. I was expecting that the workers would be made to work as much as they could. Hearing the reaction from the worker, Claire also found it a little strange that the mine would be closed in order to let the workers rest. The image she had was something similar to countries where the people were barely paid, struggling to survive. Tilting her head, the Catwoman thought about Abby's answer. Seeming to find it making sense, the Catwoman returned attention to the front. Entering the mining camp, it was surprising to see how large it was. Aside from the lodging area and the mine itself, there was a large structure. In addition, there were several medium-sized buildings clustered together. On the ground were gravel paths. The paths led to each structure, including the mine. The Catwoman slowly navigated the cart to stop next to a large mound of ores. Being inside the camp, Claire looked around and was impressed by the setup. Her eyes were drawn to a tall ramp. Occasionally, from the top of the ramp, a pile of ores would tumble onto the massive pile. At the bottom was a woman who was turning a crank that powered the machinery. The workers would go towards the ramp and deposit the ores inside the bucket onto the machinery to be piled on top of the rest of the ores. I honestly wasn't thinking there was going to be this much stuff waiting for us. Don stared at the pile of ores. Cammy also stared at the pile, but then looked back at the small cart. I can understand why people said there'd always be a need for adventurers, especially with how small this cart is and the number of adventurers needed to escort it. It's going to take forever to get it all done. Don slowly nodded, his eyes still locked on the pile. A cat woman with purple ears with a long thin furry tail walked towards them. Behind her were two more cat people. Their outfit was the same as the cat woman on the cart. I'm glad to see you were able to arrive at the mine safely. The cat woman with purple ears said to them. Pointing to herself, she said, My name is Nyx. I'm the manager of this mine. Looking to the woman on the cart, Nyx said, Trilly, you look cheerful as always. Did you have any problems? Trilly sighed. Do you not see the bodies filling up the cart? Nyx's eyes widened when she looked to the back of the cart. Are those all rock lizards? What happened? I just tried the cart, Trilly said shortly, shrugging her shoulders. Nick shook her head, likely used to the brusque way Trilly spoke. This is not good. Usually, adventurers don't even encounter any monsters, let alone rock lizards. I might have to make a request about adventurers patrolling the path. I don't want to think about how things could have gone with so many. Nyx leaned to one of the people behind her, speaking in a foreign language. I wonder if they're speaking Corinian. Claire thought to herself. When Nyx was finished talking with the worker, Abby said, Why don't you have the adventurer in the tower patrol the area? Nyx looked to Abby and then towards where the tower was located. Yev? The Catwoman looked confused before giggling. Shaking her head, she said, Oh no, Yev is a level 30 adventurer. She costs us far too much to have her do something simple as patrolling the path just to kill rock lizards. Turning to look back at the tower, Claire thought, She's a level 30 adventurer? Abby also turned to check out the female adventurer. I'm sure your group had a pretty hard time defeating these monsters, right? Nyx 
asked. Cammy and Don directed their attention to Nyx, nodding their heads at Nyx's guess. I thought we'd be overwhelmed. If not for those three thinking up their strategy, Cammy said to Nyx. Even though we were firing at them, they kept on coming towards us 